What's up guys, Sal here. So when Apple introduced the iPhone 10 back in 2017, it kickstarted this ridiculous trend of notched smartphones. Almost every Android phone maker followed this trend and made their phones look even worse than the iPhone 10 because they couldn't make the bottom bezel of the handset as thin as the iPhone. That however changed in the past couple of years. Not only Android phone makers reduced the size of the bottom bezel, but they also made it smaller than the latest iPhone. Right now, Samsung's latest Galaxy S22 Plus has the slimmest bezels we've ever seen on a smartphone. And not only slimmest, but they are also symmetrical. To be honest, the Galaxy S22 Plus is so beautiful that Apple's latest iPhones look really outdated in front of Samsung's latest flagship. But with the iPhone 14 Pro Max, Apple is attempting to shift the narrative yet again in their favor. We've already seen the first look of the iPhone 14 Pro lineup in the form of CAD renders, which shows it will have this eye shape cut out for the front cameras and the Face ID sensors. And today we have a new report that mentions Apple is also increasing the screen to body ratio of the iPhone 14 Pro Max owing to reduced bezel thickness. This tipster who has a good track record mentions through CAD leaks that the iPhone 14 Pro Max will have a 20% reduction in bezel thickness overall. The iPhone 13 Pro Max has a bezel size of 2.42mm and the 14 Pro Max will have just 1.95mm thick bezels. While a 20% reduction in bezel size wouldn't significantly change the look of the front of the iPhone, but coupled with a pill-shaped cutout, the iPhone 14 Pro lineup will actually look like they belong in 2022. With that said, Apple is working on a new feature that could literally save your life. Wall Street Journal reports that Apple is planning a new feature for the iPhone and Apple Watch that would enable the device to detect if you are involved in a car crash and automatically dial 911 for emergency services. The feature will use iPhone and Apple Watch sensors like the accelerometer to detect automobile accidents as they happen, in part by sensing a quick increase in gravitational force or g-force on impact. Apple has been testing this feature for the past year by gathering anonymized data from iPhone and Apple Watch users, and the devices have supposedly recorded more than 10 million probable car hits. Wall Street Journal says Apple will introduce this feature to iPhones and Apple Watches in 2022, which means the iPhone 14 lineup is more than likely to get this life-saving feature. First, with that being said, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.